How's it going, everybody? This is 2018-19 Donner's Optic 12-box case, number 8. Pick your teams. Yeah, I saw that on the sell sheet, Rex. That's quite a hit. That feels like something I would pull, to be honest. Not for myself, but for somebody else. My magic only works for other people. If I open it for myself, it's, it's nothing but commons yeah we'll definitely have some best in basketball i think too let me update that break schedule night bots wrong All right, later, Lincoln. All right, optic basketball full case here. Good luck. Ready to roll, good luck. It's my first case of optics, so let's see if I can get some beginner's mojo on this optic basketball. Usually about a 45, 50 minute break, I believe. So once again, there's the break schedule. And good luck. Scott's personal coming up next. Then we got an Eric personal. Then we got Vanguard, Vertex. Then I believe the baseball mixer. And then Jeremy S. So ignore Nightbot. The Nightbot's wrong on that. Can never trust robots. So I was having, I had the, the Bucks Nets game on earlier. The Bucks kind of ran away with it. I can never find the Lakers channel. On here. I don't even know if they're playing tonight. But I got some Spurs Kings on. Spurs Kings. De'Aaron Fox. Out there. Kings, I think, could be sneaky good in the next couple years Buddy Heal, De'Aaron Fox Willie Cauley Stein, Marvin Bagley they have one of the Bogdanoviches right either Bogdan or Bojan I always forget which one I think one place for the Pacers right alright good luck All the inserts ship, of course. All rookies, inserts, refractors, all of that great stuff ships. We got an orange Tony Parker for the Charlotte Hornets, number to 199. Donovan Mitchell. We got an All Stars KD, Kevin Durant. Larry Nance. Insert there. We got a Harrison Barnes. Numbered 131 out of 149 for the Mavericks. Now, he wasn't involved in that trade, was he, to New York? I think he's still in the Mavericks, right? 
Bradley Beal. There's a Luka rookie. Dennis Rodman. We got a green Ellie Okobo for the Phoenix Suns. Numbered 81 out of 149. You got another Donovan Mitchell there. And the autograph, Dante DiVincenzo. Refractor autograph. Nice. A little Dante, a little Villanova action for the Bucks. That is Josh Pruce. Nice hit, Josh. There's a Sfi rookie. Steph Curry. We got a Andre Drummond. Nice parallel there. 35 out of 39 for the Pistons. And some base. Probably just leave these all at the end to make sure uh don't spend all night here. Alright. Next box. I always like the optic a lot. Kind of a, a retro feel compared to the prism. Um, a lot of the inserts kind of look kind of 90s-ish. Um, and then you, I like the rated rookie logo a lot. Who doesn't like that? The rated rookie autos. Classic. So always a big fan of the optic. I'd love if they did kind of like an optic... Kind of like a like a jumbo edition, maybe more cards, less packs to rip. Maybe like two or three autos per box. Panini, if you're listening. Kind of like the optic first off the line, what they did for football. Kind of like that, but offer it for, for everybody. I can't always get up to buy that first off the line stuff. So like I said, off the recording, we will have some more Optic. Number nine is in the store now. Can break tonight. If not, Joe will be breaking it tomorrow, I'm sure. Joe will be back Tuesday, 3.30 p.m. Pacific, 6.30 Eastern. Same time, same place. And then we will have some more Optic, maybe, after that. Number 10. Um, and then maybe try to get some more cases. All right, good luck. Uh-oh. Look at that. Gold vinyl. Blake Griffin. Should I save it? I think I just... I have to see it. I can't wait. Jamal Murray. Number 199 for the Nuggets. Dr. J. It is... A gold... Wow, nice. Gold Brandon Ingram. Gold Brandon Ingram for the Lakers. That's Brenton. That's a one of one. And Mark, if you're watching, very sorry. I apologize in advance. Hopefully I can get you something in the next one. One of one for the Lakers. That's Brenton. Congrats. There's a Greek freak there. Another Greek freak. Marvin Bagley, the rookies insert. There's an orange D'Angelo Russell for the Nets, number 199. 
Paul Pierce. Green, Victor Oladipo. Number to 149 for the Pacers. There's a Jonas Valanciunas refractor. The autograph is for the Knicks, Mitchell Robinson. On card autograph, Mitchell Robinson, New York Knicks, Ken. There you go, Ken. There's a Miles Bridges refractor. Dario Sarge, Timberwolves version, number to 99. Red for the T Wolves. And Carl uh, Anthony Towns, 55 of 99 for the Timberwolves. All right. It's a nice box there. Nice one on one. I'm pulling some nice stuff tonight. Next box. Oh, happy birthday, Rex. Hopefully we get you some cubs. <laughs> Told you, sorry, Mark. Hopefully we can get another one, Laker 101. So break schedule, doing this optic, probably another 45 minutes or so. And then we have Scott's personal, Eric's personal, Vanguard number 9, Vertex number 11, the baseball mixer, and Jeremy S. personal. Yeah. For sure, Mark. I feel like it always, it always happens like that, too. When something like that happens, there's always some <laughs> some one on one. The breaking gods are cruel. Um, What's up, Tice? Rick's looking for some Aiton. Josie's looking for some uh, some bridges. Let's see if we can uh, please the people. Yeah, we'll have some more football posted um, once I head off air. Joe will be breaking some football. We have a bunch of stuff coming in the mail tomorrow. Three of seventy nine for the Kings. Willie Cauley Stein. There's a Dwight Howard. And then we have Panini One Football coming Friday. We'll have plenty of cases of that. Number to 99. I, I picked that one. I saw it coming out, and I said, we got to get as much as we can of that one. I'm really... Uh, Really strong on that. I think that's going to be a big hit. We're going to James Harden Green. Swishful thinking. Four of five. Nice hit for the Houston Rockets right there. Swishful thinking. James Harden. Four of five. Houston Rockets. Chris P. Guy's been on fire. James Harden. 
Nice, four or five. Nice case so far. We have an orange James Johnson. That was number to 199. We have an autograph Chandler Hutchinson for the Bulls. Chicago Bulls, that is Lou. Chandler Hutchinson. Got a Vincent Edwards, Frank Nilakina. Zanon Musa. Number to 199 for the Nets. And we have another James Harden. That's a refractor, not numbered. Um Rex asks if uh if I think Scott Boris is going to screw Harper the way he did Arietta. Yeah, I mean You've seen it the last couple years, and I feel like it's not just Arietta last year. It was a few guys last year, right? And now you're seeing it with Machado and Harper. I don't know enough about the ins and outs, but, I mean, you've been seeing it in sports lately, too. More sports, like football. You had the whole Le'Veon Bell thing, his holdout. Um, I saw on MLB Network today they were asking if Harper should take – a deal with less years but a higher average value so I guess maybe that's the, the whole reasoning they don't know which one they want maybe I don't know but I see all these tweets and there's like <laughs> there's like a new team introduced every time I feel like and then there's like a mystery team going around I think Buster only tweeted like there's eight teams different teams that he could go to but I don't know pretty crazy But maybe it's just the new age of uh, of contracts, I guess, right? Because you had it in baseball last year. You had a, a couple of football instances. Like Khalil Mack said he wasn't going to play unless he got traded or, uh, or if they re-signed him. But this one's a little different just because it's a free agent. So it'll be interesting to see um, where Bryce goes for sure. Yeah, Pod he was talking to the Padres, um, the Phillies. I mean, I find it's hard to believe the Yankees are totally out on both of those guys with all the money they have to spend. So... I've seen the Angels thrown around a little bit. I don't think the Angels will, but I guess you never know. I'd rather them just have re-signed Trout to an extension, but we'll see. It'll be interesting. And then, of course, NBA breaking some optics. The trade deadline in, I think, 48 hours. NBA trade deadline deadline is usually the best out of the the core three sports baseball basketball football usually the most um deals happening in basketball and then you have some in baseball and then football is definitely the least amount although there's been some some ones the last couple years jeff teague green number to 149 there's demar Derozan. The autograph is for the Nuggets, Michael Porter Jr. Denver Nuggets. That is David A. Padres. Yeah, Padres have a pretty nice young team. Be interesting to see if they they add Harper, what, what they could do this year. I'm not sure if, if he's their last piece they need, but for sure um, some scary uh, potential there. Numbered to 39, 39 of 39, Drew Holiday for the Pelicans. They just nabbed the Garrett Richards from the Angels. He signed to the Padres. Well, I think he won't be able to pitch this year, but for 
20, uh, 2020. Wesley Matthews to 199 for the Mavs. I'm not sure what deals are going to be happening in basketball trade deadline. You already had the Porzingis trade. That was a pretty blockbuster trade. Kobe Bryant. Obviously, Anthony Davis looking like he might be traded. Marcus Aldridge, number to 79. The Lakers have offered. The last offer I read was, like, I think it was Kuzma, Ingram, Ball, and then maybe, like, Rondo and Stevenson, I think I saw. Steph Curry and Anthony Davis, speaking of them. But Lakers have struck out on the last couple guys. I mean... They couldn't get a deal for Kawhi Leonard. They couldn't get a deal for Paul George. So, maybe third time's a charm, Anthony Davis. I think out of Kawhi Leonard, Paul George, Anthony Davis, I mean, all three are pretty good. So, I guess the Lakers would take any three. But Paul George obviously signed with the Thunder this offseason. So, he's untouchable. I guess Kawhi Leonard's a free agent, I think, this year. So I guess he could be going to the Lakers in the offseason. Yeah, Padres have a, a monster farm system. I think they had a few guys in the top 100 that I, I read. I forgot what list it was. Maybe like one of those prospect websites. But Fernando Tatis was top five, I think. Then you had Vlad Guerrero Jr. Um, Joe Adele was, I think, three or four. Maybe two, number two on this list. I'll have to look at it once we're done breaking. Is it? Is there really Fort Wayne Tin Caps? That's Padres? Is that... Uh, you, you're told to get some autographs? Yeah, for sure. No farm, no minor league teams near um, us in Redonda Beach. I think the closest one is like Rancho Cucamonga, Dodgers. But that's a good time away in, with the LA traffic. And then you have one in uh, kind of by San Diego, I think. Wake. Lake something. Doesn't Fort Wayne have a G League basketball team too? I think they have a G League basketball team. I remember playing it in NBA 2K. Like the career mode. You got sent there. Or my player did, at least. There's Dr. J. There's a green Colin Sexton. Nice hit for the Cavs. Number to 149. We got a DeAndre Ayton Silver. Evan Fournier. Pink, numbered 6 out of 79. There's Paul George, Chris Paul. Orange of Marcin Gortat, Clippers, number 199. We've got a Zanon Musa. Orange Kevin Knox for the Knicks, rated rookie, number to 199. Uh, that's Carl Anthony Towns right there, and LeBron. Did I miss the autograph in that box? Do 
we get shorted? Come on. The autograph would be upside down. I don't see it. Or was it Michael Porter Jr. in this box? I think that was last box, wasn't it? Man. Unless that was at the very beginning and I'm going crazy. Weird. Maybe we'll have a two autograph box. Or maybe that Michael Porter Jr. was in there. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we have a two autograph box. Yeah, no autograph in that box, weird. Yeah, that there's four autographs so far and this is the sixth box. So maybe one of these boxes has uh, a two autograph in here. It's definitely not in that stack, I checked a couple times. Unless it's invisible ink. Vinny's saying you got two today in a box. Yeah, I mean, they do say one autograph per box on average, the fine print there. So I guess it's not totally guaranteed. Nice, yeah, you'll have to check out a game rack. Yeah, I think they have a, a G League team, unless this is just in the video game. Uh, like, I think it's like the Fort Wayne Ants or something. It's like a funny name. I think they have a, a G League team. The closest G League basketball team here is actually like 20 minutes from here, South Bay Lakers. Um, I'll have to go to a game sometime. Never been. Yeah, you have to get that signed. All right, we got a red Jacob Evans, number to 99. Danny Green. And the Sorters will be checking all of these cards as well. Rookie Rubio, number to 149. I'm usually pretty good, though. Kevin Durant, silver, not numbered. And there's this autograph, Marvin Bagley. Silver Refractor Auto for the Kings. Nice hit for Rich. There you go, Rich. What's up, Greg? This is Pick Your Team 8, correct? Pick Your Team 8. We're about halfway through. Nice one, Rich. Tristan Thompson, numbered to 49. Yes, you do have the uh, the Brooklyn Nets. So far, I've seen a Zanon Musa. I think it was out of 199 so far for the Nets. 
and then maybe some inserts and whatnot. DJ Augustine Orange to one ninety nine for the Magic. Miles Bridges Silver. It's a base. Yeah, Marvin Bagley has been playing better. I got the Kings game on now, actually. Yeah, I think he's only averaging like a couple points less than Luka Doncic, right? For one of those big rookies. Yeah, Optic is definitely one of my favorite products. Like I said, I love the... Uh... I love the inserts, kind of like the retro looking inserts and whatnot. Yeah, I feel like basketball is is one of the sports where you kind of got to give the rookies a few years since they're so young coming one and done the the majority of the uh the top rookies like 18 and 19 but i feel like this rookie class has kind of developed a little quicker than a lot of people imagined obviously luka Doncic, that's kind of a different case he played kind of euro league a little more experience Um, be interesting to see if more players kind of do that. I'm not sure what the competitive level is compared to the college basketball, but you got to think it's a, I mean, a little higher, right? Yeah, I was saying earlier, Kings have a pretty nice young core. I mean, you got Buddy Heald, um, Darren Fox, Collie Stein, Bagley, and I'm sure they'll be adding to that. All right, we got a Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Nice, you pulled a gold vinyl Matthew Delvadova. That's awesome. Redemption, we'll save that. Blue Paul Gasol for the Spurs, number to 49. Joel Embiid, number to 99. Russell Westbrook. George Hill. Any guesses on the redemption? Damian Lillard. Number 149. Oh, you're a Kings fan? Have you... They have a new stadium, right? Have you been to the new stadium yet? There's Charles Barkley, number 99. Zach Randolph. And some base. Yeah, it is for sure a stacked rookie class, I think. And then I think next year's is going to be pretty solid, too. Maybe not as deep next year, but I think the top two or three picks are going to be insane sellers. I mean, especially considering you have um, some big market teams that are going to be the top couple picks. I mean, you got the Bulls, the Knicks. So, all right. Rex guesses Durant. Vinny guesses some Landry Shamit. Signature, signature series, card 100, Charles Barkley. Wow. So, if it's like that numbered card of Chuck, it's Sixers, but I guess it could be Suns or Rockets, right? Let me check the checklist. Don't want to get anyone's hopes up. 
by uh, by guessing. I know he played for a few teams. Let's see. Optic 1819. That's a nice one. Just started signing this year. So it looks like, yeah. Card 100, definitely for the Sixers. Awesome hit there. That's going out to Chris P. Chris Parent. Nice one. Not sure what that's number two, but for sure let us uh, know when you get that in. So 76ers according to the checklist. Awesome one. And we got five boxes to go. Good luck. They do have a uh, new stadium. Yeah, it does look pretty cool. I haven't been to a basketball game in forever. It's hard in L.A. just because the ticket prices are so high. Even the Clippers, you're spending a lot of money. And just getting to the Staples Center is pretty hard from where our shop is. And then parking... <laughs> I mean, it's right in downtown LA, so parking's expensive. But I want to get to a game one of these days. But the Lakers' prices, even even last year without LeBron and they weren't that good, were pretty high. Now with LeBron, it's like sky high. Got to get the hookup from Panini. Hit them up for some basketball tickets. They got to have tickets, right? Yeah, Lakers tickets are always expensive. Just because it's Lakers, you know? I mean, celebrities show up to the games. A lot of tourists go to the games. So, they're definitely always pretty expensive. Yeah, even like the last few years... Before LeBron, when they were um, kind of at near the bottom of the league, they were, they were pretty high. But yeah, I did, did go to a, the Lakers about five or six years ago. But the Staples Center is for sure is a, is a pretty cool arena. Um, I've seen a couple Kings games there too. All right, Afrony Simmons. Autograph signature series for the Blazers. That is John Samuelson. There you go. Signature series. There's a green Nikola Jokic. Number to 149. Paul Millsap, Drew Holiday, uh, 63 out of 79 for the Pelicans. Excuse me, got a hiccup. Jaron Jackson Silver for the Grizzlies. Kristaps Porzingis, Knicks, 38 out of 49. Any guesses on any other trades this uh, this week? Trade deadline is Thursday, I believe. So, creeping up on the trade deadline already. Marcus Gasol, Orange, number to 199. And TJ Warren. Matt W's a Pelicans fan. Even New Orleans traffic sucks. Yeah. That's the kind of the bad thing. I feel like a lot of NBA teams are located in like Central City. At least the arenas. So it makes it sometimes hard to get to for sure.
Speaking of the Pelicans, yeah, it'll be interesting to see if the Lakers add anything to their offer. I mean, they didn't really uh, seal the deal on Paul George trade a couple years ago. So they lost out on him. They lost out on Kawhi Leonard. So it'll be interesting to see if they uh, just wait until free agency for Anthony Davis. He's not a free agent this summer, right? Not until the season after this one, I think, right? What's up, Josh? I'm not sure if any other breaks will go tonight, but we do have some personal breaks in the store um, that could go tonight. Just a personal box. But a lot of people were criticizing the, the Pelicans on not kind of adding around Anthony Davis since um, his rookie year, what, six, seven years ago? But, I mean, last year, if DeMarcus Cousins doesn't get injured, I think they kind of are a threat to the Warriors, right? I feel like everyone's kind of playing small ball, like three-pointers and... And uh, the Pelicans had the best big man duo. Kind of zigging when everyone else was zagging. And, yeah, I mean, that was a pretty good team until he got hurt. But, yeah, that was the last offer I heard also. Kuzma, Ingram, Ball, Rondo, Stevenson, Beasley, and two first-rounders. I mean, it's hard to add any more to that. I mean, that's pretty much... <laughs> That's, uh, what, 60% of the Lakers team, 50%. So, I don't know what else they could offer. I guess more first-round picks. Yeah, Mirotic, Mingla Mirotic from the Bulls. After... What, the Bulls, I think Nikola Mirotic was the one who got punched in the face? Or was it someone else? I think that's why they traded him, right? Got in a little scuffle. I guess they're trying to alleviate some cap space, getting rid of Rondo Stevenson. Those were weird signings anyway. I don't know what that deal was with the Lakers. Josh Jackson, the 49. We got a red Ricky Rubio for the Jazz. Number to 99. Pistol Pete, 21 of 99 for the Hawks. Otto Porter Jr. there. Thaddeus Young. A little dent in this one. Kind of in the top right corner. I don't know if you can see it. For the Pacers, looks like a manufacturing thing. Number to 199. Will Barton. Kevin Garnett. The autograph is Aaron Holiday for the Pacers. I feel like we haven't had, other than that Charles Barkley, we haven't had any numbered autographs yet. Where are the numbered autographs hiding? Oh, that's right, they had Rondo last year too, huh? James Johnson, orange, number 199. Ellie Okobo and Stefan Marbury, the creator of some of the best shoes in the 2000s. 20 bucks a pair, I think it was. I remember rocking those. Um... Yeah, I mean, did the Pelicans try to re-sign Cousins this offseason, or was it, or did they kind of just part ways? He just had his eyes set on, on a title with the Warriors.
But who else would trade for Anthony Davis? I know he he had the Celtics on his uh, no sign list, right? There's a break schedule, Leonard. Nightbot just dropped. Um, we have Optic, and then we have a personal for Scott T, a personal for Eric I, and then Vanguard. Um, all those are really quick one box breaks. And then Vertex. So probably about 20, 30 minutes, maybe a little more on, on the Vertex. Oh, he turned it down. So I guess he must have had his uh, his eyes set on the Warriors. What did he sign? Like a six million dollar contract? That's just crazy. Yeah, I guess if the Lakers get rid of all those guys, they're kind of conceding this year because I don't think Anthony Davis and LeBron and whatever else the Lakers put out on the court will beat the Warriors. Maybe, but I don't think so. But you have some pretty juicy free agents this year, this summer. I think, what, Klay Thompson, Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Kawhi Leonard. I think all those guys are free agents, so... The Lakers can add one of those guys with Davis and LeBron. Could be a uh, a contender for sure. Jerome Robinson, number to 149. Jason Tatum. Shea Gilgis-Alexander. We got a Harrison Barnes. Black Velocity, number 39 for the Mavericks. Oops. There's a Shaq. The autograph is Zaire Smith for the Sixers. Base Rookie Auto for Chris P. Killing it with the Sixers. Yeah, he just wanted kind of like a one-year prove-himself deal. I guess getting a title and uh, and proving himself is uh, is not bad. Not a bad way about going things. Al Horford, number 199 for the Celtics. There's a Dwayne Wade, number 1099. Bradley Beal. And Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Number 99. Brooklyn Nets. That is going out to Greg D. With the Ronde Hollis Jefferson red to 99. Yeah, I don't think the Lakers have a chance either unless they unless they land Anthony Davis. And even then, then their bench is hold deplete. They're, I mean, they're young guys and, and their bench. So I don't even think if they get Anthony Davis that they have a a big shot. Obviously, anything's possible. Could be some crazy injuries or something like that, but I just find it hard to believe any team beats um, the Warriors this year again. I guess Celtics have the best shot, maybe. Sixers, I guess. I guess Houston also, but with DeMarcus Cousins, I just... I don't see it happening. Next year, I mean, if they can't re-sign Klay Thompson, and I think Cousins free agent again too, right? He just signed a one-year deal. And Kevin Durant's a free agent. So if they lose a few of those guys, I mean, next year's the, uh, the chance to take them down. But I just think it's going to be hard. 
obviously, like I said, anything's possible. You never know, but I think the Lakers know in the back of their head that this year's kind of a, a sit-out year. Yeah, I guess the Bucks. I forgot about the Bucks. I guess the Raptors, maybe. couple boxes to go good luck everybody coming up next is the personal box breaks for scott and eric then we got a box of vanguard to do then vertex 11 then the baseball mixer then jeremy s and then if anyone else gets any personals during uh, that time we'll break them if not the jeremy s personal might be the last of the night unless someone else got some personals you still got some time to make up your mind if you want to do one tonight Joe will be back here tomorrow. There's Sergi Baca to 49. Joe will be here tomorrow, 3.30 p.m. Pacific, 6.30 Eastern. We are talking about him earlier, Nikola Mirotic for the Pelicans, signature series. That one's numbered 6 of 10, gold auto for the Pelicans. Ricky Buffalo, congrats. Yeah, it's hard to trust the Raptors, given their postseason uh, post history, but I guess it's a different team, right? Kawhi Leonard. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon, number 149 for the Bucks. There's a Trey Young silver. Reggie Miller. There's Kyle Korver. Eric Gordon. Number 79 for the Houston Rockets. We got an orange James Harden. Now it's numbered 170 out of 199 for the Rockets. All right, going into the last box. Good luck, everybody. Let's see if we can get two autos in this one. Since that one box only had zero autos. Got shorted. Maybe we got a two-auto box here. Good luck. Appreciate everyone getting in. We have Optic, pick your team, number nine. Probably be going with Joe tomorrow. Unless there's a huge run on it tonight. Um... The break hours are a little shorter on Sundays and Mondays um, compared to Tuesday through Saturday. But I'm sure we'll be get, getting that done tomorrow. And then we have Optic Pick Your Team 10. We'll be posting probably once I head off air tonight. So if you're a night owl or if you're up early in the morning, especially on the East Coast, can pick your teams in that. And then number 10 is our last case right now. There is no bas big basketball release until, I think, the end of the month. So, I might be able to get some more Adonis Optic. I think we might have some, some basketball mixtures. We still have a couple boxes of Prism left. So, maybe we can do some Prism mixers. Maybe some... I think we have a, a case of Dominion. Maybe we can mix in some Dominion. So, we got some options. Maybe try to get some more Crown Royale basketball. Pack is glued tight.
yeah, impeccable basketball coming at the end of this month. I'm really excited for that also. Impeccable football is always nice. A lot of veteran stuff in the impeccable brand, which I like. I like the rookies, but it's always nice to see um, some of the, the retired guys and veteran stuff. Especially the patch autos. So, yeah, stay tuned to our website. Always getting all the major releases for basketball, football, baseball. Pretty soon we'll have hockey back. Um, be able to buy some more hockey stuff. So check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Last box. We've got Hamidou Diallo for the Thunder, pink, 13 of 79. Jared Allen, Andre Drummond, there's a LeBron Silver, Andrew Wiggins, green number 44 out of 149 for the Timberwolves, there's the Zach Levine Silver. The autograph for the Brooklyn Nets, blue auto Zanon Musa. For the Nets, going out to Greg. There you go, Greg. With the Musa Blue Auto. That one is numbered 15 out of 49. It's a nice one there. And paired up with the Zana Musa Orange, number 199. Got some base, LeBron insert right there for the Lakers. Got a Dirk, green, number 39 out of 140. And just so everyone knows, there's also a slight bend to some of these cards. It's just kind of the, the design happens to some of these cards. The, uh, the chrome. All right, that's it. And then off on a Victor Oladipo, all-stars insert. So no points are randomized, nothing like that. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. That was Optic Basketball number eight. Um, I'll try to reach out to Panini, see if they can hook us up um, since one of the boxes was short. But they do say per box on average. So um, I guess that's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. So thanks, everyone. That was Optic Basketball 12-box case number eight.